Good evening, guys. Gary here. Gaz the K. Um, this is the uh, well, the final update video for the um, Frog AMT 1968 Corvette Stingray kit that you can see in front of you. Um, if you followed the last couple of videos, you will know that I've been building this vintage kit. It's 48 years old. It is a 1968 kit. Um, basically, the AMT annual kit from that year. Um, we've gone over several little bits and pieces. I think in the last video I did a um, side by side comparison of the new Ravel, well, the newer Ravel 68 Corvette body. So you can see the um, differences in the shape because this is a bit out of whack. It's a bit. AMT never got the shape right on the 68. From 68 onwards, they did a great job, but for 68, they didn't get. Um, they didn't get it right anyway but as you can see in front of you I think it's turned out quite nice I'm happy with it it's my first attempt at an old kit um, I'm always you know as as anybody would be I'm a bit nervous of building old kits because you know you only get one chance with these things and if you screw up the paint or you know anything like that then you're buggered because you can't go and buy another kit so yeah, so what you see in front of you is a finished um, article. I hope you like it. I'm going to put a short um, little sort of photo slideshow at the end of it, only a few photographs, um, so you can see a bit more detail of it. Um, it was painted the way I always paint my cars, which is um, spray cans. Uh, this is um, done in. Do you know what? I don't even know what colour it is. It's it's very. It's as close as I could try and get to British green, which is a metallic green colour for '68 Corvettes. Um, if anything, it may be a little bit light. This looks almost a bit more like the Pontiac Verodo green that the, G the early GTO, well, the 68, 69 GTOs came in. But anyway, I'm happy with it. I like it. It's, um, you know, it's a 48-year-old kit, and anybody that's built these old AMT kits knows that, you know, the chassis was all-in-one. So, you know, you've got the all-in-one chassis pan, which I've detailed the best I can. Um, all that moulded, the, all the exhaust and everything is moulded into this kit. None of it's separate, so I've just done the best I can with paint detailing. Um, just to bring, you know, what is, the lack of what is there is made to look a little bit more interesting anyway. Um, this kit has got probably some of the nicest wire wheels I've ever seen on a kit. Um, hopefully they're showing up on the camera okay. Um, but they're beautiful wheels. Um, I just add a little bit of black wash to them, just add a bit of depth. But they're um, really nice. Um, we got a bit of bare metal foil on the actual rocker mouldings. Um, got the satin black rocker mouldings. The kit does come with the chrome um, rocker mouldings that you can put on, but they didn't look very good. Not in my eyes, anyway. Um, it's got a split on top of the windshield frame which really annoyed me and I could not for the life of me get that to glue together you, you know I, you, I tried everything I tried um, I tried normal Tamiya cement I tried I tried Tamiya extra thin which is there I tried Tamiya extra thin I even tried Ambroid Pro Weld and that normally wilds anything but no not this one so you can still just about see the split there you can probably see it uh, the screen uh, the windscreen looks a bit windshield, whatever you want to call it. it may look a bit milky, um, but it is in um, the way I'm looking at it. It looks great on the screen. It looks a little bit milky, but that had a hell of a lot of scratches on it. Uh, I've been rattling around in that box for 48 years. You know, it's it's a hell of a lot of scratches to it. So the glass was took a lot of polishing. Um, I used the old polishing cloths and some Novus on that. Um, so yeah, let's turn this. Um, Let's get the turntable around so you can see what's going on. Oh, first of all, let me just show you the, um, the engine, which I believe is like a 327 or something like that. Um, I think, the, to be honest, the engine, the chassis, and everything in this kit came from like the 67 Corvette, so it's probably the wrong engine as well. I mean, I know it's got Corvette script on the valve covers, which is not correct. But again, you know. With the minimum detail that is available there, I've done the best I can. I haven't wired it because it's got that um, it's got that ignition shield on it, and most of it's hidden behind there anyway on the real car. So I just didn't see. I was going to wire it, but I just didn't see the point. So um, yeah, you, you can see what I've done there. I've done the best I can, but I'm, you know I'm not going for an all-out, super detailed wired build because 
you know, honestly, I was more interested in, sorry, a bit of dust on it, guys. I was more interested in getting it done looking good than I was anything else. Uh, the chrome was shot. The chrome marina windshield is um, bare metal foil. The rear bumpers, all the you know, all the all it's all been re-chromed. Uh, the rear bumpers and the front bumper, it's been done in spaz sticks. Um, I was really impressed with the front. Um, that turned out really nice. Um, again, it may show up as silver on the camera, but it's looking pretty chrome in front of my eyes. Uh, the back ones I did a little bit dark, um, so I may take those off and redo them at some point. But you know, I think it looks okay. So. Um, yeah, right, let's spin this thing around a bit so you can uh, have a look. So, yeah, we've got a nice gloss on the actual um, paint finish. And say so it's just aerosol cans. Um, and then um, we use a lacquer coat over the top. It's about four or five coats of lacquer on it. And then it's um, wet sanded down with polishing cloths to get a decent smooth finish. I mean, it's not glass, you know, you can see in the reflection, it's not glass smooth, but. It's not bad for a spray can. I'm quite happy with it, you know. And at the end of the day, if I'm happy with it, then it does me fine. Um, let's see if you can see a bit more detail there. We've got the um, there's your rear detail. Borrowed the decal off another decal sheet that I had in my you know in my pile of decals that I've got for the for the license plate. Uh, the interior um, is flocked. Um, the back wall and on the floor is a black flocking, uh, like carpet effect. Um, all of this obviously is done, you know, detail painting. Best, you know, the seats done like a shinier finish to give them that sort of black vinyl look. So you can see it there. So yeah, a few photos up in a minute, guys, for it. I hope you like it. Kit did come with um, external rear view mirrors, but they they look shit, so I didn't put them on. Uh, until I find something better, then I won't be putting them on. Um, the hood fit on this, I know um, Rick Zinc um, suggested that um, it was the old AMT hood type assembly, you know, where they had a spring, like a very, very taut spring. Uh, some of those old AMT kits, you sort of lift up the bonnet and you've, you know, trap your fingers in the bonnet, it's got that much sort of tension under the spring. This is not um, designed that way, if I can get the if I can get the hood up now, I probably can't now. If I can get the hood up again, there we go. It's got a there's a hinge there and it's like, you know, it's all over the place. It's not sprung loaded at all, there's no spring in the kit nor is there provision for it. Um, the only annoying thing of that is yeah, it fits nice, the hood fits nice, it fits lovely, there's no gaps as such. But on the leading edge, each time I'm opening it up, you can see it's going to knacker the paint, which is a bit a bit bloody annoying, but I'm not going to be undoing the bonnet every five minutes. So there you go, guys. I hope you like it. And if you've been following along, I hope you enjoyed the video series. It's nice to build these old kits now and again. Um, you know, they were made to be built in the first place, and I've got a few vintage kits, and they're all going to go be built, you know, I'm not going to see the point in saving them for someone else. They're for me to build. So, um, yeah, hope you like it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, usual stuff. Um, thanks for all my comments and subscribers I've had recently. Um, I'll be putting up another very short video in a minute of just some updates on what's next on the bench. But that's it for the 68 Corvette. So, uh, speak to you all soon.